It's the danger to the dishonest people speaking the unforgivable truths back at you again, brought to you by our Subscribestar backers. Uh, linked below, or in the in the card link below, or whatever, uh, where you can watch our real videos. The the real the deepest meat lore. The group that's harder than an erection. Can we say that? And they show more affection. Wow. <laughs> and speaking of showing more affection, uh, they this want to week, ban us up on Capitol Hill. Yes. Because they are uh, dumb. Why? Why would they want to do that? How? Why come? Well, first of all, why come? They ain't got it. I don't know, them. but they better not. They better not. Oh, this doesn't make me feel good at all. But speaking of oh, things, no. things that do make me feel good and showing more affection, uh, this week's episode is that classic, wonderful classic where the uh, brown guy is reading New York Times bestseller called All Whites Are Racist. And then he's fantasizing about... Um, Which you can't say is not actually what the book is about or even what it's titled. This mysterious book, but... Uh, the, the book is uh, called White Fragility for yeah. those who think that this is a joke. Yes, it's it's not, it's a, not a joke. Book. It's not some joke gag book title or book It's concept. not some alt-right dog whistle. Yes. The left really do... This is another thing that we like to make fun of uh, SJW's like, comic skate for doing, is they actually confess to this shit then when they get called out on it, it's like, we never said that. It's like, yeah, the, you, you named a book that. The SJWs, either literal SJWs, or the people who pretend they're not SJWs as... Literal the, SJWs. A, the, literal SJWs who just are using a new grift yeah, the to actual, go by a different name. The, the Stealth SJWs, who, cloaked SJWs. The point is that... They are. Yeah, there are there are leftists out there who actually come out and admit, yes, we're leftists, we're SJWs. And then there is that. Uh, it's at this point, it's not new, but it's the the uh, and and for the past year or two, it's been the internet's biggest grift is people pretending that they are against the woke or anti woke when they're not. They're fully pro woke. They are, oh, yeah, uh, the based the based Chad Dad Grifter. We yeah. called them the Grift Right originally. Now we have to call them like the based Chad Dad Grift. I mean, you can just call them the Ricadas of the world if you want. But then there's so many other people they would have to. That is a to great them. name to call them. Well, great name. So apt, so accurate. Yeah, a perfect distillation of like a dishonest, whiny beta cuck, gay. Well. Things that we can't really say here anymore at all. But you know what? Are, yeah, it's like it's like uh, the thing, uh, mm. the fucking how many words uh, when we're yes. talking about making songs for Tank? How many words rhyme with cuck, gay, weeb, Jew? Jew, you know, just stuff like that. Hey, that's crazy. That's crazy. But uh, we can't talk about that stuff here. We can talk about it on the videos on our subscribe star. So if you want to really know what's really going on, what all the stuff that uh, you can't even talk about in public anymore. Our subscribe star uh, has, for the past few years, and... Um, They'll also say that now. In fact, that's the thing, is we've been saying that about ourselves because it's true. They're now saying that about themselves because they think it's like a marketing spin. They, they want to be us. They, they unironically, they do hate us because they ain't us. We they, don't even have a degree in marketing, and they're stealing yeah. our material. Yeah, the, unironically, there are a bunch of people out there on YouTube and wherever else who are stealing every word that we're saying, and they are pretending to believe them to when they're they're pretending to hold to the values that we authentically hold to but they don't so again um all of that's been documented for several years on our youtube channel and uh, as much as we would love to make all those videos public we're not able to the the videos on our subscribe star behind the pay pig paywall are behind the pay pig paywall not because we want them to but because there's literally no other way to post them we can't post them in public anymore we have tried to and our videos our yeah, channels get shut down our videos get like flagged this. all that stuff i didn't and want to be when like our videos 
uh, show evidence of people lying about us, people ignore the truth and the evidence and simply listen to the false accusation and believe they openly admit to believing the false accusation. Yeah, they engage in listen and believe and behavior. This much is exactly like what this feminist feminist is about. Overlords, their favorite feminists. The, the, and uh, this is a perfect example. It's the fucking all whites are racist book, New York Times bestseller, and so it's the brown guy reading, just seeing that, and he starts fantasizing of pure Aryan Southern girl wearing... Aryan the, supremacy. Yeah, they're wearing the Southern cross bikini and uh, uh, having him on a leash and he's bl blushu nose burido. <laughs> uh, so... It, it's, if anything, it's a little gay yeah. uh, how much he wants to be dominated by a dummy mommy. But it is also 100% of people on Paul. Uh, unironic. Well, it's reason. also plenty of people that aren't on Paul, too. Yeah. Let's face it, there's a lot of white supremacists in the non-white community. Yeah, th there's actually a recent thing. It's funny, uh, months after this comic came out, and uh, months before this video will go up, of course, there was a thing about, like, the uh, frightening new trend of white supremacy in the Hispanic community. And it's like, yeah, that was not only old news, it was an old joke years ago on Paul that everyone there is brown or Asian. The remaining 1% are brown Asians, something like that. <laughs> but anyways, in the comic... Occasionally, um, you'll find very rarely an actual white person. An actual white person, but um, usually they... That was also another joke of curiosity. Like, uh, from 4chan, it's like you go to Int, and it's like a ton of white people pretending that they're not white. And then you go to Paul, and it's a bunch of brown people pretending they're not brown. Yes. Um, anyways, the third panel is uh, the guy hooks up with uh, uh, Aryan girl on Tinder, and the last panel is her just going, "Please forgive me for being white," as he just looks disappointed and kind of because, of course, that's also something that uh, uh, white that's something white women in particular do a lot of is yes. race traitoring. So funny comic, but here's the thing: uh, dissecting the sausage or whatever the fuck is just look at how incredibly simplistic the facial expressions are in this, but at the same time, perfectly effective. Perfect. Especially, like, White Chick in the second panel in his fantasy is just tiny. It's like three lines, but it's like, it's perfect where she looks evil, smug, uh, dominant, all of that stuff at the same time. And also, the guy's expression in the final panel where you, it just, it's, it's just a few lines, but it perfectly sells the emotion being portrayed. And it's just like in um, Understanding Comics by Scott McCloud, where he explains the more detailed a face is, the less effective it is at um, portraying a facial expression. And uh, people in American comics still to this day have no concept of understanding of that. It's not even that they're choosing not to do that. It's that they don't know that they're doing it wrong. They're That's too the key low IQ for it. Uh, unless they're making like memes and stuff. Like, look at this. This is an American comic. This is American style. Take a look at this. Anyways. This is in the American style, but this isn't cape shit. Cape shit. But yeah, um... Yeah, that's the thing, is that a simplistic cartoonish style is always better for expressive faces, um, expressing uh, emotions or, or portraying uh, the emotions with just... Sim that's why emojis, you know, as goofy as they are, are so effective. It's because they're the most simple version of Yeah, Comic Skate is the non-yellow non version of emojis where it's like, oh, make sure this fucking... Uh, people that would identify with this if we made it non-white and it's like it's already yellow the whole yeah. point is that it can apply to anybody and the way it's used and that uh, that actually disappeared nobody yeah. does that anymore oh i would need to use the white or the black or the brown you know no, emoji to that, represent like, myself nobody cares the only people who actually pick the skin tones are doing it ironically whether it's white or brown or black yeah or at the very least the vast vast majority and yes. even then uh nobody really does that anymore yeah and the few Nobody's doing people that who anymore. do it unironically are the dumbest people you will ever see on the, they're the um perfect example of the the three fact rule that uh 
was it Penn Jillette or uh, Greg Gutfeld uh, uh, talked about, and we've done videos talking about that, but it's like um, if you find out two facts about a person and can correctly guess the third, they are never worth talking to, which is, it also ironically, um, uh, unironically, if you will, uh, describes pretty much every fan of American comic book. The, the um, average American comic book fan. Not a fan in America, but a fan of American comics. Um, most American comic book fans are actually fans of manga, as they will tell you. And they're, they at least have a better awareness of irony. Whereas um, American comic book fans, fans of cape shit are utterly clueless. Cape cucks, if you will. Uh, the cape cucks are utterly clueless about irony, um, jokes, uh, awareness, self-awareness, external awareness, perception, um, uh, the, the culture that they are in. They're always like several years, at least five years behind, usually 10 to 20. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, so there's, so in a way that's connected to all this. So, uh, and if you want to know more, if you want to hear uh, more about the deep lore that nobody else on the internet, especially YouTube, wants to admit to or talk about, our subscribe star is the only place you can go for your only hope for a future. Uh, donate the uh, monetary equivalent of uh, of a Kwama eggs or a sweet roll. Or, uh, <laughs> Kwama eggs. The, the fucking most delicious way to make a Kwama egg is just is to cook them and then brag about how uh, yeah, Outlanders. Fucking, first off, you take your Kwama eggs, uh, rinse them, uh, 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 soak them in bleach. Yes, season them in bleach, if you will, and then. Um, and then uh, make sure to mention how Outlanders don't even know how to enjoy it. They enjoy cyrodelic brandy and fr uh, fast food fried fishy sticks. And that's about it. Hey, that's a pretty good egg. Not that uh, Noir would know. Or <laughs> Noir or Enois, I don't know. Sure I didn't play Morrowind sure because Skyrim's already the best game in the entire series. And always will be. Uh, I tried play, playing Morrowind once. It doesn't have uh, Skyrim's graphics. Um, I got 15 so minutes good. in before I quit. Skyrim has better graphics and it's newer, therefore it's a better game. End of story. Objectively. Yeah. And speaking of end of story, uh, so yeah, donate to our subscribe star, uh, but for everyone else, should have listened to shitty webcomics.